start on them. Um, just finished up my Halloween cards and um, I just wanted to give a quick share of these ones. Um, first I started off with um, this one and this image is a very beautiful image and I actually got it at Michael's. Um, it's this image right here and um, it's obviously red, red rubber wood mount. Um, this is an Inka Dinka Doo stamp. It doesn't um, actually say um, what it is, but um, I believe I got it um, when the wood mount stamps were on 40% off. So that's the stamp I used, which um, I used um, very vanilla cardstock from Stampin' Up. I embossed it with um, silver embossing powder, which I'm hoping the camera's catching it. There's a pretty good shot. Came out really pretty, um, showing all the details. Um, the card base also, um, the very vanilla. Um, the next layer is the pool party, and another um, layer of the very vanilla, which I embossed with the Sizzix embossing folder. It's like a snowflake burst or star burst um, pattern. So, and I also got that from Stampin' Up. And um, so then I used my Nestabilities um, spell binders to cut out the image itself and used some also the scalloped um, Nestabilities to layer underneath with the um, pool party. And then I took some of this beautiful um, soft. Um, ribbon, um, silver ribbon from Stampin' Up! also, and just put a strip and tied a little bow. And I popped up all the layers, so it's pretty, you know, a little bit dimensional. And this is, um, this card measures the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So, and then I left the inside blank. So I made two of those. Um, the um, difference is on this one, I used uh, the Whisper White cardstock, and instead of putting um, another layer of the plain cardstock and embossing, I just used a piece of the beautiful pattern paper, which um, also is from Stampin' Up. I think it's called Winter Frost. And um, the same thing, did the silver embossing. So, exactly the same, just um, changed it up a little bit. The inside is blank on this one. Next up, um, I was looking on Pinterest and I got quite a few ideas from them. And I just changed it up a little bit, but um, this card, it's a little, um, this is the traditional uh, um, card. And, um, you know, it opens up actually top fold. And um, to get it all in, it's kind of hard actually. Um, but I used um, this Stampin' Up! Punch, which I absolutely love. Sorry about the glare. And, um, yeah, so I used these to make the little Christmas tree um, pieces. And I used the winter frost paper again. Um, and then I used Coastal Cabana to layer on top of. And then I used the beautiful um, glimmer paper also and made the star on the top of the... Um, Christmas trees, and then I just took my Nestabilities dies and um, cut out a circle and the scallop, and layered those together. And I also stamped um, another, um, I believe it's actually called Oh What Fun um, stamp set from Stampin' Up. It's a new one from their holiday catalog, and I popped everything up so everything's pretty dimensional the trees and um, the sentiment and it's blank inside so you can make you know write your own message and um, this one which I absolutely love and I got the idea um, on YouTube um, I just changed it up a tiny bit um, you know to make it my own but I um, stamped the um, it's called Santa's List by Stampin' Up! also and it looks like this, and it comes with two sentiments, and it says, he's making a list and checking it twice, and it says, hope you are nice, but this vintage Santa is just beautiful. I love it. Um, 
So I embossed um, Santa with um, the early espresso, um, oh no, chocolate chip. It's like a, well, it's not from Stampin' Up, but it is um, like a chocolate chip card um, embossing powder. I don't know if you can see. There we go. So I embossed Santa with that. I used my Oval's Nestabilities dies um, to cut out the two, two different layers. Um, I actually do not have the um, stripes embossing folder yet, which I have it in my next coming in my next order. So I just took my Martha Stewart scoreboard, and I don't know if you can see the details, but I made um, like an embossed piece of paper, which is on Whisper White myself. And this color is another um, retired color. I think this is the uh, Riding Hood Red, and I believe it is um, retired. But I um, took a piece of the pattern paper um, from Stampin' Up! It's a designer series paper on the holiday catalog also. And I just stitched the um, two layers together with my sewing machine with some dark brown um, thread. And then I used a Nestabilities Labels um, die to cut out um, this layer, the white layer that I actually also stamped and embossed um, with the brown embossing powder. Um, and I cut another piece of this one and then just slid it down the middle and then layered it behind it because I didn't have another one to layer behind it and I wanted that to um, come off the page a little bit more. And then I just took a Want to Scrap Pearl, um, which was already colored this color, which is um, matched perfectly, and just did a little accent there. And Santa's popped up, and also is the um, the sentiment. But and then also you can just and then this is on um, the um, Whisper White is on the inside also, and you can write a message. Um, so I actually did two of those, and those are exactly the same. So. Um, I hope you're getting started on your holiday cards and there's many more to come and I thank you for watching.